Cairo did this. Y'all, I am the Cairo. Uh, this is going to be a quick trial and error video. Ran into an issue when trying to sample into the um, machina software using the MK3, uh, MK3 using the uh, external um, stereo inputs on the back of the, uh, the device. Um, and the reason why is because I'm using a Avid Digio 3 uh, mixer as my audio interface. Um, and so what happens is I don't get a signal in um, that is picked up when I'm sampling into the uh, into the uh, hardware. Um, and the reason for that is because of the fact that for whatever reason, the the uh, the software has to be set up to be the the actual audio device. Um, and so if you're like me in any way, having to go in between or anything, first of all, anything that slows your workflow down while you're making beats just becomes an irritant. So what I um, realized that I would have to do, which became the annoyance, is I would have to go into the MK3 uh, as my audio device. And as you could see, I um, now get a signal uh, and the monitor uh, is on. Um, but there's no sound coming out because I would have to plug in uh, a set of headphones and listen through headphones. Very annoying, like I said, when, when I'm trying to make beats and having to go back and forth. Um, so giving a call to Native Instruments, I got a, a representative that walked me through the process of creating an aggre uh, aggregate device um, using the um, audio MIDI setup. And so I just want to do a uh, just wanted to walk you through how it, I went about setting that up. Just if anybody's having the same issue that I had ran into, um, I don't I don't know that many of you have um, gone through this because I didn't, you know, see any uh, videos on this online. And it's probably just because of the fact that, like I said, I'm using a, a legacy model uh, interface. Um, but I do want to, uh, like I said, um, create this video just in case somebody's running into this issue. So what I needed to do was uh, was actually go in. Um, these are the devices that I that I normally have. So I have the uh, the MK uh, the MK3, of course, the microphones, blah blah blah. But I wanted to marry the uh, the Digio 3 and the MK3 together. So I had to um, create this aggregate device by hitting the plus sign here. Um, and then once you do that, it's going to create the uh, MK3 and the Avid um, Digio 3 into a little screen here. And, you know, they're going to they're going to be set up in, in different colors. You got an avocado green and a forest green here. And then these two will be checked. And then this is going to be checked over here, which is drift connect, uh, correction. Um, the representative said this doesn't really matter as much as uh, these two being correct. Uh, I mean, uh, checked out. Um, and um, of course, it's because these are in use. And it'll tell you how many um, ins and outs that you have for each sub device. Um, and so once you do that, you go back into the software. Uh, and then you go into your preferences. Um, and so you see the inputs, the outputs, um, and keep those in mind because I'm going to tell you something about that. But go ahead and um, select the aggregate uh, device. Um, and you notice that everything's changed. However, I still don't have any um, sound, but I still get a signal. Um, the issue is uh, monitors on, but the issue is right here. Uh, for whatever reason, um, I have to make a change where I have to bring four and five up to where the uh, main left and rights are. So by doing that, all you do is click uh, and then you start getting audio. Uh, and that's and that's and that's pretty much it. So let me let me go ahead and do that for you. And then as you can hear, I got audio through both sides and that's going to be my main left and right. And of course, I'll go in, but just for the sake of the video, I don't want to keep it too long. But you go in and you just make the changes to all of these and then these are cancel out. Um, but that's pretty much it. And um, like I said, just wanted to keep the video um, short and to the point. Um, it's kind of awkward not being able to let you guys see what I'm doing. But um, as far as 
um, what I'm doing on the hardware, but um, that's just the basis of, of how it worked out for me. And now I can get um, audio. Um, like I said, some of you may already know this. Some of you may not have ran into this issue, but for me, it was an issue. And um, especially because of the fact that I'm just now really getting into the, uh, the, the, um, you know, the machina software. So all of this is new for me. So of course, it's just going to be a lot of trial and error for me as far as just learning this equipment and, and um, getting comfortable with it. But as I do um, videos, of course, I'm going to learn something new and, and look to share that with you guys and uh, try to stay as visual uh, as possible as I, as I walk through this thing. So um, thanks for um, tuning in. And once again, I am the Cairo um, plug in, get connected. We are TMR and hope to see you guys soon or be with you guys soon on another video. The Cairo did this.